Hey Gemini, so I'm gonna do a reading. We're gonna see what your messages are at this time, okay? Just keep in mind while you're listening to the reading that this is general. Don't force it to fit your situation, okay? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking great care of yourself, Gemini. We're gonna go ahead and get started and see what you guys have going on at this time, okay? Devotion fill out, all right? This one says, a dedicated partner whose love is unconditional and eternal, all right? I'm gonna put it back because I wasn't ready. <laughs> Um, Black Hollywood Romance Stars is the deck that I'm using. It's by Queen Sugar Tarot. I really like this deck. I don't use it that much. Just because, you know. But it's a really good deck. I like it. So, let's go ahead and see what love messages Spirit has for you guys. Alright, Holy Spirit. For the collective, I'm going to pull out three cards. What love messages do you have for collective sexual healing is here okay this one says sexual energy can be used to reconnect let your bodies release some tension and enjoy pleasure okay so there could be somebody um that you're dealing with at this this time all right maybe you and this person are kind of going through um yeah like a rough patch all right so this may be a message for you guys to reconnect um, on a physical level, okay? We have courting here, all right? Courting, it says, this period of development towards a romantic relationship is important. This time will help you both see if marriage is in the cards. Thank you, Spirit. And then we have devotion. So this one, I think this one just came out. I can't, I really can't remember, but <laughs> devotion, it says, a dedicated partner yeah, whose love is unconditional and eternal. So, yeah, this one did come out, but I was saying I wasn't ready. So, for some of you, you may not be ready for this love that's coming your way. This may kind of knock you off your feet. I'm seeing this card that says love at first sight. Um, and the instant gravitational pull you two felt when first meeting lets you know that this is a soul connection. So I feel like this is somebody that you have already met or you're going to be meeting soon. And you're going to feel, um, you're going to feel drawn to this person. It feels like instantly. All right. Yeah. I feel like, um, you've been putting in a lot of self-love. You've been taking care of yourself. You've been, you know, pouring back to you pouring back into yourself, loving on yourself, all right, so now there is a reflection coming towards you of all the love that you've been giving yourself, I'm seeing that, okay, so this person, um, this person that's coming towards you, they're dedicated to this connection, all right, I'm seeing that, I'm also seeing like, um, the chemistry here, the sexual energy here, like off the chain, that's what I'm seeing here, all right? Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this, this message for the collective. What else do you have for the collective? Tell me more about this. Thank you. Past life relationship. So, this may be a brand new person, but it does feel familiar, all right? It says you've known each other before. And then the sexual energy card, it says... Sexual energy can be used to reconnect. So it kind of feels like you and this person are familiar. You dealt with them um, on some level. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Passion. Yeah, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry in this connection. I feel like this connection, this person, they take you to a place where you've never been Okay, like they have you feeling all different type of ways is what I'm seeing. <laughs> I feel like this person is like, yeah, everything you've been missing in love. Wow. Yeah, this is deep. Okay, let's do one more. So we can have one more for the collective. One more message for the collective worth waiting for this connection is going to be worth the wait some of you have been single for a while or you know you've been you know really working on yourself you've been just you know solo dolo is what i'm hearing all right um 
this is worth it is what I'm seeing. Yeah, engagement is here at the bottom of the deck. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So let's get into this reading. Let's see who this is coming towards you. Who this person is that has you <laughs> in your feelings is what I'm what I'm saying. Like this person got you cheesing, got you smiling. All right. I feel like this person is all over you. They they really want to be close to you. Like, yes. They want to be all like around you. You see that here, how he's all on her back, okay, how he's all in her face, <laughs> how they're like embracing each other in this card, like there's a lot of, um, like I need to touch you, okay, like let me just hold your hand, let me touch your back, let me touch your ear, let me just put my hand on you, <laughs> like that's what I'm picking up on, like, I just need to touch your skin, <laughs> okay, alright spirit, tell me more about this for the collective, what else, can you tell me about this person for the collective? What else does the collective need to know about this person? I feel like this is going to happen kind of quickly. Okay, so the King of Wands, it fell out reverse. Okay. Whoa. Weak in the knees. You could be a fire sign. Um, they could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm picking up on this person when you two connect, like, it's like, it, okay. I'm trying to figure out how to describe this. I feel like normally, you know, you may be somebody who has full control over your emotions. And, you know, just how you feel about people. And, like, you can hold your own emotionally. But with this person, when you're around this person, they really do make you weak. Like, it's almost like you, like... Just, you're floppy. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> like, you're folding a little bit. So, I don't know. Like, yeah, like, drunk in love. That's what I'm seeing here with the Seven of Cups. Like, this person is really, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're saying. This is how you two feel about each other, okay? Um, tell me more, spirit. Yeah, like, this is overwhelming. Overwhelming. Overwhelming, yes. Okay. Very overwhelming. All right, Holy Spirit, can you tell me more about this? This uh, connection. That's funny. Yeah, the Ace of Wands is here. It's upright. So there, the chemistry, again, like it's off the charts, off the chain. <laughs> okay. I feel like there's so much, um, I don't know, like, yeah, electricity between you two. There is somebody has fire for you, fire and desire. I see the queen of wands here. Okay, at the bottom, this card is upright. Okay, you may feel like I guess maybe you feel weak that you feel this way for this person, or vice versa. Somebody kind of feels like they're out of their comfort zone being in this connection, it's because it's just like it's just it's. Yeah, I'm seeing like concentrated, like this person is just love, 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 like it's a lot, it's overwhelming. Okay, spirit, so tell me more. You can't help yourself, that's what I'm saying, you just cannot, can't help it, yeah. So the four of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. <laughs> four of pentacles and the knight of pentacles, okay, so... I'm also seeing, too, for some of you, this is how you feel, like, after you guys have sex or after you guys are around each other. Like, you just feel, um, overwhelmed or you just feel like, yeah, I'm just picking up on it's overwhelming, okay? So, Spirit may be saying, like, you know, calm down, <laughs> Take your time, like you don't have to rush into this. And the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles here. I want to clarify these two. Spirit, tell me about that. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, don't get lost, okay? Because I feel like with this person, it's very easy for you to get swept away and you just, you know, they're like your full focus. And Spirit may be saying, like, be mindful of that. Don't allow this person or don't allow this connection to, like, overpower you. Okay, like stand your ground, stand, you know, 
like it's you know it's good to be in love or whatever but just don't let this consume you mind body and soul or spirit or whatever tell me thank you spirit yeah i see judgment here okay for some of you this is it's been a while that's what i'm saying like it's been a while since you have been in a, a connection you've been in a relationship a relationship like this all right or you've been in a relationship it's just been a while But there is, okay, so I feel like there's a purpose here. Like, Spirit wants you to show you, okay, Spirit wants you wants to show you something here. Hmm. For some of you... This connection that I'm speaking on, there has been some conflict here. So this does feel like a past person for some of you. There has been conflict here, all right? And I feel like if this is the case for you, like if you're reconnecting with somebody from the past and you, you know, you want to reconnect with them, don't allow the relationship to, like, overpower you or forget everything that you've learned. That's what I'm seeing is I feel like if this is somebody that you've already dated, there has been a period of separation between you two and you've learned, you know, some lessons, hopefully, and, you know, this person as well, hopefully. Um, so, you know, apply those things that you've learned during the separation when you two reconnect, all right? Because I'm seeing with the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, there is some type of issue or conflict surrounding how you two interact or how you two show love to each other yeah the seven of cups is here okay so for some of you the issue could be like this person doesn't know if you love them or if you're just here for the sex or if you're just like here for basic reasons and i do feel like this could be a period of time where you guys figure out if you want to proceed all right like if this is just a relationship where you just have sex because it is it's, it feels good or whatever um spirit may be asking you to examine why you're with this person like what are what is what's the reason but for most of you like i'm picking up on this energy where this is this is your like um long-term relationship okay with that devotion card here all right so that's kind of a lot to unpack spirit tell me tell me more about this reading what else do you have for the collective what else do you need the collective to know about this connection thank you two of swords and the full There's something here that you may be overlooking, okay? Um, there's something here. I feel like this person may be asking you a question and you're just like, you know, we don't have to worry about that right now. Let's just, um, let's just have fun. Let's see where this goes. That's what I'm seeing. Tell me about that, Spirit. Two of Swords and the Fool. Yeah, Three of Cups. Okay, so I'm starting to pick up this energy where... There is no direction. Like, I'm still, I'm picking up, like, a floppy energy. Like, you're just down for whatever, okay? Or, like, you don't really know if this is what you want, all right? If this is not you, this could be the other, the other person. Because I feel like somebody here just wants to have a good time. They may not be ready, or you may not be ready for a long-term relationship. Spirit, tell me more. So just kind of take this how it fits. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so you could be dating around. Like you could be just dealing with more than one person and you have this this relationship. Like this is um this is a big one. This one could lead to marriage, something long term. And maybe you're not ready for it. Maybe you feel like this is just the time where like you want to explore, you want to see who else is out there. 
I kind of feel like you're keeping this person at a distance. Like there is a rotation as <laughs> well. This <laughs> they're in rotation. Okay, so what? So I mean, I guess let the person know that I'm just not ready to settle down right now. I see the five of cups here. I do feel like if that's your story it's you know at least you're being honest i feel like if you let the person know like i'm just not ready for long term right now it may it's gonna hurt their feelings but at least they're not like left in the dark all right i feel like that would be better than um you know just ghosting them or like I mean, like, hit it and quit it type of thing. Like, just let them know what's up. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to have fun right now. I'm just trying to live my life. I'm just trying to see who else is out here because somebody's coming towards you. And um, I'm seeing, like, the sex is amazing. I'm seeing that this person is trying to take you seriously. And I don't know if this is you or the other person. So just kind of, you know, take it how it fits. Two of Cups. Whoa, two of cups, and then I see the eight of cups at the bottom. I feel like, okay, so for some of you, this is a past person. You dealt with them before, they want to try it again. Maybe this time you're not ready for the connection, and maybe like you're gonna leave on, um, you know, good terms and just let them know, like, I'm just not. I'm not ready for that right now. I just kind of want to explore. I'm getting that energy strongly. Like, you just want to, you want freedom. You want to be free. Like, you want to travel. You want to meet new people. And this person that I'm picking up on, they're ready for commitment. They're ready for something long term. This person wants to be by your side. All right? I feel like if you're, if that's your story where you just want, you know, to live your life without any type of attachment like this um this time around like let the person know like maybe in the past you would just ghost people and just like block them and not explain but i feel like you've grown since then i feel like you have <laughs> you've matured so like you you're gonna know how to handle this one um speak your truth that's what i'm seeing like speak your truth be honest all right let the person know what's up spirit what else do you have i just want to pull just a few from this deck here and then i'm gonna wrap this reading up okay so can you tell me more what else do you have for the collective what else do you want the collective to know about this love connection yeah there's definitely a rotation here three of cups all right spirit let me see how it's going. Thank you. It says, my pride is hurt. My pride is hurt, yeah. Somebody feels weak. Somebody is weak for you. And that's kind of, um, you know, this King of Wands energy. It really has this person feeling a certain type of way. Like they can't get over you or they can't get past you. And, um... Maybe they have tried, all right? Maybe they have tried to let you go, but it's just not happening, all right? Spirit, tell me more. It says family is involved. We manifested this. Let's do three more, Spirit. Regret. Wish I could take things back. Sad, guilty, major loss. So this, for some of you, I'm picking up this past energy. Two more spirit. It just kind of feels, feels like there's a... Like it could happen, but then it, it may not happen. So just kind of, you know, take it how it fits. Um, it says, is this love? All right. Love at first sight. Maybe you're just not ready for love or this person is not ready. I feel like a fool. Yeah, like somebody, I can't get over you. And then I see I'm focused on my career for now. So for some of you, like you just kind of want to focus on your own thing. I'm strongly picking that energy up. Like you're determined, you're single, you look good. You're getting a lot of attention here. I'm seeing that. And I feel <laughs> 
I feel like for some of you, this person that's coming towards you, then I'm hearing like cramping your style. So I don't know. This I feel like you're gonna know how to handle this because um, I do feel like you're more mature now. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this reading here. I hope it was helpful. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.